Yo. I am packaged and orders. I got about, well, I'm prepping so I can pack them. And right now I'm just putting my slips into the combs because I have to make 10 combs and then put the labels on my styling combs. My brother already did the gels and I gotta make four detangling sprays. This is crazy. So if you don't, well, you wouldn't know because I don't talk about anything. Me and my brother work from home. So what happens is we make the product here um, with whatever material we have and then we open up the site. And yeah, everything is pretty much handmade. We go and get our um, slips from this place called Prima on 14th Street. And they do our labels as well. We are trying to change the labels actually, so we might just still be getting these from there. And with the combs, I have to shave them down because they are carbon fiber, they're not plastic. So they last way longer. They don't break as easily. You would really have to like intentionally break your comb for it to break. Like I've had my comb in my back pocket and sat on it and it didn't break. So that's how good the comb is. So we shave them down and we put the, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's like, put these on them. That's, you know, just a part of branding. Then, let me see. And these are the things we use. So I used to um, use, uh, what is this? This is 400 fine. I think I used to use like a 200, like the rougher one to like sand a comb down. But then I found this, which is also like rough. So I'll break the size down. Then I'll smooth it out with this like buff it. And I use this soldering tool to put the lug nuts or the nuts on the side of the comb. It is crazy because I did a video a very long time ago. Like I went live and uh was showing people that I make the combs. I don't think people understand how much goes into the thought process of making your brand unique or providing your clients or your followers with products that you are like you stand behind 110% because baby I'll tell somebody I thought of something and they're like oh shoot that's dope and then when they see it like come to life it's like you were serious oh right, okay who ha I thought I made the list so we have 10 combs 25 gels six foams, four detangling sprays, four octane drops, two shampoos and conditioners. Ooh, that's all we got left to pack up. Um, I'll probably come back and show y'all the process of the comb. I gotta wait for this soldering gun to heat up and I'm about to shave these down. I'll probably put some music over it. I feel like I'll be just chatting because I don't be knowing what to say, but we're getting better. I still haven't posted the first video, but hopefully by the time this one is up, that one is up. Uh, yeah. I'm happy to be here. Okay. These are my combs. Uh, let me see if I could zoom in. Is it zooming? Is it zooming? Is it zooming? Oh, this should be good enough. So, these are the combs. And see is it in the frame this is so dumb okay i'm moving the wrong way boom so you can see the tip is a little what the hell am i doing let's see what i do and i put it on a lower level and i just come like ugh, is this in frame it probably is not. And I pretty much just sand this like to a point. Let's 
So you can kind of, that should have stuck up. So you can kind of see it got points here, but this is what this is for. And I come under like this and I run it back and forth. And sometimes it's just perfect. Ugh, can you see that? Maybe if I did it like this. It's a little more pointy than one that's not done. Okay, so after we um, are done with this, we this is actually heated up. We'll put this in the corner right here. Um, let's go. Like that right. Pretty much the gear goes here let me move this so y'all can actually see it i don't know how the spacing is going boom this is perfect i hold the gear here and i would press down into the inner circle ah shoot and then that happens that ugh. so you know this is already hot but that happens a lot if you're not holding it right now I be trying to wiggle it around because what happens is that the heat starts to melt the carbon fiber and you know, I don't even know how hot this um, soldering thing gets. So let me see. <laughs> They're not gonna steal a sauce. I'm I'm supposed to be doing BTS. I pray they don't. Why would they steal they it? Steal the sauce. They're not gonna. Don't steal from us. My, my brother don't. Oh, um. Do I don't think so. They gonna steal the sauce. Bro. I don't think so. So. You see the point on this one. And how it starts out. It's not really. This is so dumb. Pretty much. Uh, my brother told me I need to spray the alcohol so i spray the alcohol and then we put it inside the thing but sometimes they are super ashy and he'll get some like grapeseed oil and wipe them down and before you put them inside the package and boom come in here Ugh. i hate these flaps on the back read this nope you can't but it says this comb like a pencil is used for putting details within an item this is a mechanical braiding tool if accomplishing the most perfect part you've ever seen is the goal the precision pick is mandatory handcrafted with every level of braiding in mind the hair clinic precision pick features a unique area at its top for the purpose of navigating through all textures of hair without breakage now I'm talking shit you cannot buy this at a beauty supply store. No funny. Like not until I go myself and I try and get them in there. So when people be like, what comb is that? They be like, oh, you could go get that from a beauty. Look, voice, that's how true it is, my voice cracked. You could go get this from a beauty supply store. They, that's just people talking shit. You can't do that. Made by hand. Thank you. 